Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Pilates for All. It's um, a nicer morning than yesterday, isn't it? My goodness, it rained. So welcome everybody. I hope you're up for it this morning. Get your mat out, get yourself a cushion, because we're going to be using a cushion today as well in a little bit of, as a bit of equipment, by way of a change. Um, so I hope you missed me last week, but I do hope you were also doing the classes. Hello, Peter Mac. Hello, Cathy. Um, if you are still on July challenge mentality, which I know Cathy is, if you have kept doing my classes or a another class, hello, Joan, every day apart from one day a week in July, I want to know because I want to have like a, a medal of honour or a list of honour for those people who have done it. I haven't got any medals. Sorry, Cathy. I might have got your hopes up there a bit. No medals. Good morning, Lindsay. Um, so, yes, yeah, so if you have managed the July, and you know, the July challenge is being active every day. You're trying to do a class, um, every apart from one. Or, it, you know, if, if, for example, you're one of my seated customers or Pilates customers and you know, you've started walking every day, you're still on track, Kathy. I had no doubts. I had no, I'm not on track. I'll be honest, I didn't do any exercise when I was away last week, so I had four days off. Uh, still on the challenge. Well done, Joan. Brilliant. Hello, Jay. Hello, G. Nice to see you this way. Um, but I did do double hockey training till our, last night. We went for a five kilometre run with the ladies' ones, and they were quite quick. And um, then we did an hour and a half masterclass with that GB hockey player. So that was very good. So um, I'm aching everywhere. I would say absolutely everywhere. So those of you who are, just quick before we start, those of you who are coming back to my physical classes, I need your responses immediately, yes or no. Hello, Paula. Um, it, the conditions we're having to have, we are gonna have to wear masks in the hall because we're doing the one meter plus and the plus is the mask. So if you know you can't bear doing masks, and it's just gonna be a deal breaker for you. Tell me, we'll have to take you off for now, but things will change. Um, you see, I could, I could have not had masks, but I think only got about 10 people in the hall and that just wasn't manageable. So I've had to go for the, the kind of one metre plus scenario. So um, seated Pilates, that, so seated exercise, sorry, is coming back as well. And again, I've not had many responses on that one. So if you are going to come back to class, tell me, I need to know. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Anyway, enough chatting, we're going to get going. So get yourselves music yeah get yourselves on the floor good morning christine good morning rachel how are you Re me and rachel did the run and the hockey last night i'm aching a bit rach i'm gonna be even worse tomorrow right let's get going i'm just gonna move my speaker a bit because i can't quite hear the music because i've got my door open so let a bit of air in because it's warm right so we're gonna do some cross legs to begin with now you don't have to cross your legs you could sit with your legs straight out so please don't feel you've got to cross your legs however if you can bear it it's a really really good stretch now I'm sitting on a cushion because I think if I wasn't I'd be crying just now because my hips are very tight from all that exercise yesterday I did stretch obviously not enough so sitting really tall for me Every, whatever position you're in, let's draw in our abdominal muscles. So pull those abs in, lift up your pelvic floor on your exhale, but let's relax our upper body and neck. We don't need to be all tense around here. So breathing in. Exhale, tummies in, pelvic floor lift. Inhale again. Exhale, tummy in, pelvic floor lift. Good. Let's add a little bit of arm work. Inhale. Exhale. Now, when you bring those arms out, try not to fall over backwards. It's not very elegant. <laughs> Especially if you've got furniture behind you, you might regret it. So just take those arms as far as you can without affecting your balance. Now, as we're doing this, you're probably very aware of stretching around the hips. That is good news. If it is too much, come out of this posture just stick your legs out in front. One more. Oh, I like this track. Good, well done. Now, just sit back a little bit. Take those legs out. Oh. Give them a little shake. We're going to cross them the other way. So I always tend to go, oh, I've forgotten that. Yeah, so that's my, me around the other way. So the other foot is closest. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, we're going to do arms again, but this time all the way up. 
and then down in front. Out to the side. All the way up, down in front, out to the side. Good. As you reach up, pull in those tummy muscles. And again, reach up. Good. Leave both hands on the floor. Little side bend. So it's smooth. Down, back. So do you remember we talked about keeping our bottom glued, glued to the floor. So I'm not letting those buttocks lift. Absolutely not. Two more. One more. Good. Bring yourselves up, take those legs out. <laughs> now we're going to sit with our legs out in front. I'm getting rid of my cushion for now, but keep it close. We're going to use that later. So, if you can get rid of the cushion, get rid of it. But, if you've suddenly gone to this position, sit on the cushion again because I want you tall. Really straight back. Okay. Breath in, side bend again. So, side. Good. Now, I would like you guys to make it a little bit harder using that arm overhead. Oh, it's sweaty this morning. Oh, two more. One more. And then we're going to twin. Arms up here. So last night, we, me and Rachel were at Letchworth Hockey Club. Very good hockey club. And we were doing our hockey training. It started at half past eight. It finished at half past nine in the dark. And yes, it poured with rain at the end. We're so hardcore, aren't we? Two more. One more. Good. Back to our side bends, but this time repeat this side for three, two, pull those tummy muscles in, one, just have a little rest, change hands over the other side, here we go, three, now as you go to the side, keep your bottom glued, legs are staying still, back to the middle, good, now bring those legs up, oh. soles of your feet together, I'm doing lots of it, now if this is really uncomfortable, you can put a cushion underneath your leg there and that side just to make it less unpleasant. Okay, so we're going to work on these hips. I'm being mean this morning. So hands onto your shins, sitting tall, breath in. All I want you to do is tuck your chin and have a little lean forward. Now you might be able to slide your hands down the feet. Don't worry if you can't. Take yourself as far down as you can. My elbows are soft. My head's just relaxed down, and I'm letting these stretches happen. Not fighting them. Bring yourselves back up. Still with me? Okay, let's go again. Chin tucks, go down. Now come up. It's gonna be a little bit quicker. Go down. I wish I'd shaved my legs now. They're a bit bristly. So <laughs> Should have shaved them. Down we go. Back up. One more. Stay down here this time. Now, if you can hold your feet, great. Don't worry if you can't. Breath in. Relax forward. So, you may feel this in your lower back. Maybe your hips. Maybe everywhere. Bring yourselves back up. Oh, give your legs a little shake out. Well done. Oh, sorry. Not that my mouth. Okay, a little bit of arm work now just to change the emphasis. Hands back. Feet on the floor. Lift your bottom off the floor. Lift up. Pop down. I'm going to go sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Lift up. Pop down. So you're probably thinking, oh, this is easy. Okay, more to come. Lift up. Hold it here for me. Tummy muscles pulled in. One leg, straighten it in front. Other leg. Now, as you're doing this, everybody, you're probably thinking, wow, I can feel that in my arms in which case you're doing it right. Tummy muscles pulled in, try not to wobble about, keeping really steady. Two more, one more. Sit yourself back down and sit up. For those of you who do wake up with me, Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning at nine, you will recognize a tricep dip. Tummy muscles are working hard, everybody. Try not to let the belly do all the work. Two more, one more, let's have a little rest. Oh. <laughs> Give those shoulders a little roll, and the other way. Right, I'm gonna face you now. I have to get rid of those, I'm so sweaty. Oh, honestly, I'm such a sweaty oik. Right, hands behind. We're gonna lift the bottom off the floor again, 
and we're going to do that leg extension again. Do you remember? We did it a minute ago. Okay, lift your bottom. One leg, so it's out and in. Now I'm trying not to lock my elbow. So there's my elbows locked. Slightly bend your elbows. It's better for the joints. Locking joints is not ideal. Good, breathe. Everyone, two more. One more. Now down goes your bottom. Hands behind. Sit up. This is our last time through on this if you're thinking, oh, good God. <laughs> Look up towards the ceiling to relieve the neck. Four. Three. Last two. Last one. Oh, well done. Give yourself a little shake out. Okay. We're going to have a little go now at a V sit. Well, it's a V balance, really. Now, I would recommend you get a cushion. I'm going to go sideways so you can see what I'm doing. So sit on your cushion. So you've got a nice, comfy base for your backside. Okay, now, really straight back for me. Hold on to the back of your thighs. And I want you to imagine you're doing a roll back. So you tuck your chin. You roll back just a little bit. Hold. Breathe. Up you come. So do you remember, as we go back, exhale slowly. Still exhaling. Inhale. Good. Okay, now this time we're going to hold it a little bit longer. Don't go back too far. It's only a little bit. That's about there. Good. And see if you can lift a leg. Pop it down. Other leg. Now you've got to keep your tummy muscles working. I would like you to breathe though. Please breathe. Always say in class, I've got insurance. But I don't want to claim on it really. Up you come. How about the rest for us? Interesting, they have also extended our insurance to cover online stuff like this, which is very good. Okay, same thing again. We're going to make it a bit harder. If you don't want to make it harder, stick with what we did. If this is too much, go to the floor, do some sit ups. Okay, nice and tall. It's like a chin. Back again. Now, this time, hands on the floor. They're kind of just by your bottom, really. Lift, down. Now, you might want to try hands there. Breathe, everybody, for me. Go on. Four more. Four. Down. Three. Down. Tummy's in. Two. One more. Four. Up you come. I just got my legs just. You don't have to. Oh, have a little rest. Good work. Now, if you want to make this even harder, what we're going to try to just lift both feet off the floor at the same time. If you're getting twinges from your back, lie on the floor, do some sit-ups instead. Okay. Everyone else, here we go. Breath in. Tuck your chin, back you go. Now, don't rush. Hands on the floor. One leg, other leg. Down, down, sit up. Go back, tummy tight, up, up, down, down, up, you come. So you'll see, as I come up, I'm really straightening my back. As I go down, I'm curved, I'm really curved now, up you come. Sometimes when you see this on videos, they've got a very straight back here, and you can do that, but that's a more advanced option which I'm going to avoid this morning. Can we do one more? Here we go. Tuck your chin back. Hold it. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Are your tummy muscles hurting? Mine too. Okay. So we're going to go get rid of the cushion. Keep it safe. Sit lovely and tall. We're going to do a stretch of the backside again. So sitting tall. Relax your legs for me. Take one leg over the other. Bring it in towards you. Don't lean backwards. Can you bring it in further? Now, that position is quite comfortable. This position, oh, is not. So, let that knee go down. You should be thinking, I'm oh, all right. Now grab hold of it and pull it in towards your body. Yes, feel that? So that's the pose, sitting tall. Looking very imperious, very tall, very posh, looking down your nose, we're going to have a twist. So I've got my, I'm, this is my, I'm going to call it my left, right leg's not, and my left hand, other hand behind, twist. So 
So look over your shoulder. Keep pulling that knee in towards the chest. Looking down your nose. I'm looking around my conservatory, seeing lots of dead flies. Need to do some hoovering. Back you go. Down you go. Other leg. Over it goes. Nice and slow. Draw it up. So again, that might be enough for you. I'm, I'm saying that doesn't ache. It may. So if that's enough for you, leave it there. Let's do one more. Opposite hand. And I use my thumb just for extra force. Ooh. Those are those running muscles, walking muscles, sitting still muscles. Push the leg in a little bit more. Can we twist? Hand behind. It's just on the floor, my hand. You can have it behind your back. Little rotation. Still pull that knee in. Hold it there. Breathe. Exhale. Ooh, and release. Good work, everyone. Okay, we're going to roll back onto the floor. In fact, you might want a quick slurp of your drink. Mine's over here. Now, you will need your cushion, so don't lose that cushion. Keep it nearby. Oh, I look thirsty today. <laughs> right, roll yourselves down. Okay, so nice and simple to begin with. We're going to do some leg extensions. So it doesn't matter which leg. Push it away. Bring it back. So you know that during class, we generally start with quite simple moves and then we can build on them. So some of you might already have started using your opposite arm and leg, which you can do if you want to. You don't have to. Good, well done. You bring the knees in, up, or you just straighten your legs and bring them down again. Doesn't matter if they're not completely straight. Take them up, bring them down. As my legs go up, oh, you can feel the backs of them stretching. And again. Good. Put those feet on the floor. Arms are going to go over and back. Nice and smooth. So overhead and back. Overhead and back. As they go over, tummy in and then relax. Tummy in, relax. Okay, now we're going to put those two moves together. So, legs up, arms out. Then back in. Yeah. So, you're putting your legs up towards the ceiling. Arms are going overhead. And I'm hoping you're breathing. Are you breathing? I don't think I was. Exhale. Inhale. Now, keep going, guys. But if you want to, there's legs can go more of a diagonal. You see, so rather than going straight up to ceiling, they're going out at about 45 degrees. That's harder. You don't have to. Good. One more. Excellent. Bring those knees in. Got crap on this foot again. Had that yesterday. Okay, well done. So we've done it where we do the arms and legs at the same time. Now we're going to do them different times. Now I'm going to move down the back just a little bit to get in the right position. So let's just do them alternate. So tummies in, legs up, arms overhead. Legs up, arms overhead. Now those who want to, legs on a diagonal, arms overhead. And you see my legs are not returning to tabletop. I'm tucking them in. And again. Good. Now if you're thinking, well why does she keep talking about the cushion? This is why. You need it now. Grab your cushion or your pillow, whatever you've got. Okay. We're going to have a little game of pass the parcel on our own. So what you're going to do is put the cushion between your knees. Okay. So mine's quite heavy. So that makes it harder. So all I'm going to ask you to do is that same move you just did, nice and steady. So I'm going to push the legs away. Bring them back in. Do the same thing again. Push them away. Bring them in. A harder option. Swing your feet. Push away. Bring them back in. Oh, anyone trying that one? It's difficult, isn't it? And again. Good. Okay. Put your feet down. Hold the cushion. Arms overhead. There's a problem. I haven't got enough space there. So if I change my cushion position. Yes. And back. As the cushion goes overhead, put in your tummy muscles and back. 
Now you're wondering, I'm sure, where does the pass the parcel element come in? Aha. Uh -huh. So, legs have the pass parcel. Hands have the parcel. Yeah. Legs have the parcel. You're going to think it through. Which position does your cushion need to be so it fits around the furniture? <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Legs go away. Hands go away. Now, the observant among you will be thinking, I'm sure we've done this in class and we made it harder. We have. Not yet, let's have a rest. One more. Good, well done. Have a rest. Oh, cramp. Annoying. So, I'm going to give you a last option. We're not going to use the cushion for this at the moment, so just put that over there. The last option to make it a little bit harder is, again, yeah. But what we're going to do is the head and shoulders are going to come in and then go away. Now, we're only going to do, let's do four of those. Forget the cushion. Are you ready? Start tucked in. Here we go. So it's four, three, two, last one. Oh, 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 well done. Should we have a stretch? Stretch out, move those hips around a little bit. Oh, I'm guessing we all felt that. Did we all feel that? I know I did. Good, well done everyone. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more stretching, work on a bit more mobility. So bring your right knee in. I've laced my fingers over that knee. I'm just going to give it a good old pull. Oh, pull it right in. Stretching all over the shot around those hips. Other leg, extend it away. Breathe. You want to work harder, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. I'm looking down towards my feet. They're not looking too bad. Fairly clean. Breathe. Change over. Slow. You can always leave your head on the floor if you're getting a stiff neck. Pull that knee in a bit more for me. Well done. Both knees come in. Give them a hug. And that, this is always a really good lower back stretch, particularly on your bed in the morning. So if you, I was chatting to my mum actually, my mum's getting a bit stiff sometimes in the morning and a bit uncomfortable back. And before you get to anything, before you leap out of bed, just draw your knees up and lie in bed. Take your head off your pillow and just pull those knees and hold it there. And then if you want to make it harder, you just bring your head up. See if you can get your head in. Doesn't matter if it's right down there. See if you pull that head in and just hold, pulling the knees, tucking the chin, and then relax down. Oh. And do it again. So bring one knee, other knee, pull them in. Now, if you find the pulling in awkward, take the knees wide. In fact, it's quite a good alternative anyway. And try the knees wide. That's getting right into my hip. So I'm going to keep them there. Pull them in, and again, you can bring that head out. It's not very elegant. You might not want anyone to see you doing this one. So pull this knees in a bit more. Oh, and have a stretch. And what that's doing is it's just getting the back moving. It's just warming up that lower back. The muscles are overnight, get a bit rigid, they kind of clamp. And then you find in the morning you can't reach your, slip, your slippers. Over onto your front, so ready. All the way over. All the way over. There we go. So, nice and comfy. Oh, now I'm getting cramped in my foot. If you do get cramped, another use for the pillow. Put the pillow there and put your feet on it. And that helps because it stops your hyperextending the foot. Okay, so we're going to have a little stretch. So shuffle those hips a little bit so you feel nice and uh, solid on the mat. And grab hold of one foot. Now remember, we had an option for this, didn't we? You can roll on your side and just even grab your shin if you can't get your foot. So don't worry if you can't get it on the floor. Here we go, grab that foot, heads relaxed. And as you exhale, I want you to push your hips down, ease those hips down, so you can feel the front of your thigh stretching. Oh, I can feel that stretching. Hold it there. A little bit longer if you can. And if you find the stretch is not so um, uncomfortable, pull the knee in more, that foot in a bit more. 
It'll get more uncomfortable. Release that leg down. Let's do the other leg. So same thing. I remember you can roll onto your side. Grab that foot. And I'm just making sure I've not got my bottom in the air. So I'm pushing my hips down. Looking under the furniture. Yeah, it's been a while since I've even done there, I'll be honest. Push those hips down. Breathe. Come with you. When you lie on the floor, you think, oh, yeah. That's more jobs for later. Push down a bit more. Well done, release your legs down. Slowly, hands under armpits, push yourselves up onto your knees. So we do a little bit of work to the back. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Breath in, arch up. Release back to where you started. Then go down. Back to where you started. Up again. To the middle. Now we're going to speed it up a little bit. Make sure you control it. So it's down, middle, up. And again, this is another good back mobility move. And the thing is with backs, there's so many muscles, tendons, ligaments, keeping it lovely and solid, which is what we want. But sometimes some of them just get too tight. And then it creates that point in the back that doesn't move properly which gives us issues everywhere else. Good, well done. Well, I want you to give your bottom a little coquettish shake side step. Imagine you're a pussycat and you're wagging your tail. So wag your tail. Wag, wag, wag. Good, sit yourselves back. Well done. I'm gonna sit back onto our bottoms. I'm gonna sit back on my cushion again. Wonderful, how are you all doing? Great. Nice and tall. One arm goes over. Other one. Big circle. Getting right into those shoulders. And again. And you might find you've got a bit of a clunk. That's okay. It's not painful. Don't worry. Two more. One more. Good. Hands up in front. Palms together. Open out. Right back and in. So I'm taking my arms beyond my shoulders, further back. That's it. Now we're gonna change it just slightly, same idea. But now you're gonna take the hands low. You're gonna go down and back. So you can see I'm twisting my hands. So my thumbs pointing behind me and then back. Good. Now you're up high. Up, push back. So we're working through our shoulder blades. Up again, and then this last time, same idea, but turn your thumbs down, push back, and in. And again, same thing, push back, Whoa. really working on those shoulder blades, round the shoulder joints, Good. give those arms a little shake out, smashing everybody. Take a big breath in, reach up, exhale. One more breath in, reach up, and an exhale. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. We are going to go to our very, very well deserved relaxation. Oh, get my glasses on. Uh, so get yourselves comfortable. If you want to sit, you can sit. If you want to lie, you can lie. I like this track, so I might just rewind this track. Um, if you haven't done any relaxation for a week, now's the time. I haven't, and I won't be really and you know it's so good for us it's very easy to um take it out isn't it just think oh i haven't got time for that um, and in fact it's quite interesting in my classes when we go back we have to all stay for the relaxation which for some people is going to be a real challenge because <laughs> the relaxation is hard so what we're going to try and do in the relaxation i'll put the music back on we are going to try to take slow deep breaths oh thanks for the heart for things guys we're going to take some slow breaths we're going to inhale, exhale lovely and slowly. Thanks, Kathy. Try and make your exhale longer than your inhale. Long exhale. And each time you exhale, I want you to allow the body to soften. So get yourself nice and comfy. We've got our five minutes. My glasses are coming off. I'm going to leave my microphone on just for a minute. So, 
first thing is find a comfy position. So you might find lying with your legs straight on your back is just really not comfortable. For me, actually today it isn't. So I'm going to bring my legs up, pop my knees together, but my feet are out wide, and then I don't have to focus on keeping my legs there. Arms are relaxed down. Palms are facing up towards the ceiling. And your chin is just a little bit tucked, so you haven't got a you know, haven't got a crook in your neck. And let's try that breathing. Breathe in for a couple of counts. Breathe out for double. And each time you exhale, allow the tensions in your body to melt away. Think about your face. Are you frowning? Are you grinding your teeth a bit? Try to stop and enjoy this few minutes of peace and quiet.
just starts to bring ourselves back into the room. So get those fingers and toes wiggling. Have a little stretch. Oh, hope we didn't all fall asleep. Felt myself drifting off there. Slowly bring yourselves up to sitting. Take your time. Just sit any old hour, it doesn't matter. Oh, wonderful. Let's have another big deep breath in. So inhale. And one more. Fantastic, fantastic. Welcome back to uh, our live classes, everybody. We're going to keep going through August, and I will be um, changing the timetable, so it's going to start gradually dropping off. I know, hello, Julie. Um, but that's what has to happen with the physical classes coming back. Um, but I will be leaving all these recordings here, certainly for the meantime, um, so you can use those to your heart's content if you can't uh, come to class for whatever reason. Anyway, look, have a really lovely day, everybody. Enjoy yourself. And um, I will, and the weather's improving, isn't it? And I'll see you Thursday. And those who are staying on for seated Pilates, seated exercise, keep calling it seated Pilates, we'll be back here in 20 minutes. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. Enjoy your running, Rachel.